Hi, I'm Richard, and I'm going to give you a demo today, a walkthrough of our Iroquois press brake, the standard control feature. This is our B96 150, our eight foot press brake, but it has the uh, a manual type control on it, and that's this limit switch control you see right here. We offer different controls, uh, but today we're going to specifically go through the manual control and uh, and the switches, the foot pedal how it works, and uh, <clears throat> so you can understand that. So first of all, we're going to talk about the foot pedal here. So all of the movement of the machine, and that'd be the ram axis, is controlled with the foot pedal. Okay, so, and for the most part, you'll use the, the, the standard button here on the bottom, and it's just simply up and down. Uh, and, uh, and then this button on top is for the jogging functions uh, for going up. So <clears throat> what that means is on, on this control right here, uh, we, have, we have three modes, auto, fast, and slow. And, uh, and slow and fast are both jog modes. So there's no automatic motion. When you, you can jog in slow, and that simply means when you push the foot pedal down, the machine will go down. When you push this, the foot, the top foot pedal uh, button, the machine will go up. Same in fast mode. You can just jog up and down in fast. And, <clears throat> and that is for setup and things like that. So once you get a cycle set up on the machine, once you get your limit switches set, uh, then you switch to auto mode. And when it's in auto mode, the machine will auto return. So you will only use your, your, your down uh, foot pedal. You'll hit foot, the foot pedal and the machine will go down until it hits the limit switches. And then once you let off of the foot pedal, the machine will <clears throat> auto return. So you don't use this button in, in a standard production cycle, only for setup. Otherwise, it's just pump start, and the ESOP turns the machine off. Uh, we can do that here. Pump start. And machine off. Um, and so, now we'll talk here, before we run the machine, we're going to go ahead and talk about the, uh, the limit switch setup itself. So this controls the stroke limits of the machine. Uh, and this is a vernier type control, and 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 this uh, it's adjusted by by turning this knob right here, and this simply sets how many inches down the machine comes before it stops, and you can set it to the nearest thousand. So uh, this scale, this little needle right here, shows you uh, it shows you the inches and the tenths and so on, <clears throat> and then this dial up here actually has a little, uh, you can, you can dial it into the nearest thousands. That's, that's uh, at zero. One turn of the knob is 50 thousandths. And you have graduate graduations on there of 1,000. So you can set the machine very precisely with this lever to the nearest thousands. So once you get it in position, you, you lock it in with this and, the, and go ahead and do your cycle. So now that's running this right here, which is your downstroke, okay? And we'll just go ahead and do a cycle here. You'll watch it and maybe you can understand it. This one right here is adjusting your upstroke. Uh, and so we'll, we'll run through a cycle here and let you watch that <clears throat> and see how it works. So again, the machine is in auto mode right now. It's set up for a cycle. And um, so we'll take the foot pedal right here. It's got a little safety switch on it. We will push it down. And then I'm holding the button still. The machine stopped at the bottom of the stroke. When I let off, it'll go back up till this hits whatever is set for the top of the stroke. So you will notice this right here is a slowdown. This is slowdown to work speed. So when this 
activates just a little bit sooner than this side. So this is your slowdown for your work, and this is your final stop, and this is your return. So one more time, we'll do that. There's your, there's your slow down. Final stop. And return. So that's how you set up a cycle on the standard control. Now, just one more thing. We're going to talk a little bit about the back gauge. This has a, a small backstop on it, our, uh, our smallest manual backstop. Uh, and, and that is manual. Uh, it, it, it simply spins back and forth with the hand knob. You bring it forward, you go back, and you can lock it here with the little lock knob. Uh, and, and then you're, you're reading that back gauge with this position right here. So right now it's at 3.01 inches and that's, that's your measurement. Um, I'll run it back and forth and let you watch that as I go back and forth. So bringing it up now, I'll bring it to two inches here. I'm going to put my first bend at two inches. There we go. And then you lock it and set it. Uh, if you want your next bend at six inches, Spin it back. So you get to your six inches. There you have it. And you make your six inch bend. That's how the manual back gauge works. Um, let's just step around and look at the back side of that just a little bit since we're talking about the back gauge. The, uh, the fingers, it has 24 inches of stroke. This one does, and this is 48 inches, and the fingers are adjustable uh, side to side, uh, just like so. Bring them in. And the height is adjustable up and down with uh, these levers right here. So that's how the manual back gauge works. It's got a, uh, a digital readout sensor is right there. All right, thanks for watching. That's the features of this standard press brake manual control.